Good morning. How are you today? It's Robin John the Rosenhouse, and I am here with you to talk about uh, the weekend energy outlook. So I'm waiting for, there we go. I'm just waiting for the other page to load, but um, as you can see, the focus is get out and move. And I, <laughs> to be honest, I am not, 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 not um, somebody who really likes <laughs> to get out and move. <laughs> so when I saw this weekend's report, I was like, eh. <laughs> really? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just making some edits over there, but I'm going to... Um, I just get started anyway, right? Um, here's the deal. As, as much as it pains me to say this, this weekend, it's really, you have the opportunity to make great movements on your, um, on your goals, right? And at the same time, the opportunity for staying stuck exists. Fun times, right? So here's the deal. If you, <laughs> if you really are serious about, about feeling better about yourself and about reaching your goals, whether they're business goals, whether they're life goals, <clears throat> um, whether you're trying to you know, manifest something, you're, you know, a new house or a new car or greater income or anything like that. I'm telling you, this completely goes against everything <laughs> within me. <laughs> I hate exercise. I really do. But um, it's truly, it's truly the way out this weekend, at least, is to get your body moving like it or not um and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to happen in like a way that you don't like so if you are somebody who let's say likes to dance then do that if you like to run do that if you like to just take long walks do that um it, it can it can be walking around the house and just kind of you know shaking your body um, anything that's really gonna get your blood pumping right so um, I, I do a couple of things in the morning and uh, and nowadays <laughs> and and it's always interesting to me because I really I do everything that I can to not pay attention to what it is that I'm doing. Um, when I'm sitting on the bike, I'm, I'm texting or I'm reading or, you know, or something like that. You know, I'm not at that stage where I'm working up a, a, a big, like, you know, like a Peloton type of situation. Um, so I can do stuff like that. If you are at that point where you're in like that Peloton situation, then you know what? You're not having the same thoughts that I am, right? You're just <laughs> trying to stay focused and not fall off the damn thing. So <laughs> well, even while you're wiping the sweat from your eyes, right? Um, and that's all good. Um, but truly, you know, it, 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 the, the way the energy reads for this weekend, it's so very interesting. If you stay physically stagnant, then it's going to show up as stagnation in other areas of your life. So if that's not <laughs> a, a, enough of a um, push <laughs> to, to convince you to, to move your body, um, I don't know what is. <laughs> and so look, here, and here's the thing. I, you know, I, I energi energize, I understand that, you know, I'm speaking to a diverse group of people. 
who are in various stages of health and healing, right? I know that some of you are athletes and the thought of not, you know, doing whatever your morning workout is, is almost, you know, worse than death. <laughs> and I know some of you are still in stages of healing your body from, you know, traumatic injuries and events and, um, and um, accidents and, and things like that. So what I want you to understand is in terms of the movement this weekend, it's movement for whatever level you are physically at, right? I mean, what I do in the morning for somebody else is too much. And for others, they warm up more than I do, <laughs> than, than what my whole little, I, I don't even want to call it workout. <laughs> That's how much I hate the idea. I, I haven't yet um, decided to um, take on the persona that I am somebody who exercises. I am somebody who works out in the morning. It's just, it's too much for my brain right now. And, and like, that's something else. Like, you know, when you, we, we have identities attached to um, actions a lot of times. And, you know, to say I'm somebody who, who works out and I've been, you know, and I've been now, um, not always every day. Um, you know, we're talking minimum three times a week. My goal is really five to seven days. It really is just to get the blood pumping, especially with what I do. It's, it's not much. It's a half an hour by the time I'm done, if a full half hour. Um, but just to turn around and say, yeah, I'm somebody who works at, I, I it has so many negative connotations attached to it for me personally and that I can't and I won't, at least not right now. Um, and I have other, I have other things to work through that are more important than using a workaround, right, for, for this. Um, it's like, it's like, it's like journaling. I, you know, journaling, I journal. I do. For some people, they need to call it a brain dump. For other people, they need to say, I just jot ideas down that, you know, I just jot down the, the thoughts that are in my head. And that's how they're able to do it. That's how it feels safer. That's how it creates less resistance. So it's fine to, to reframe, reframe something and talk about it in a way that doesn't trigger you. It's, it's the way to get around the blocks. And eventually what happens is, you know, you become somebody who journals. You become somebody who works out. And, the, and there's no longer a negative connotation attached to those phrases because you've been doing it for so long. So, you know, the, the other, the positive, the other positive side of the physical movement this weekend is for most of you, it, it will bring feeling good, you know, it'll bring you feel good, feel good feelings. <laughs> it will, um, it will, I hate to say raise your vibration because you know what? <clears throat> you can have a high vibration and still be an asshole and you can have a high vibration and still be in a bad mood. People don't believe me, but it's all over the place. The, the examples of it are all over the world. Um, and you can have a high vibration and be out of integrity, you know, um, and, and it's funny cause David and I have personal experience with that. Um, just to digress a little bit, 
um, many years ago when David released his um, his rock and roll oracle cards. We were at an event with um, a very well known spiritual teacher, healer, intuitive, the whole thing. Beautiful, beautiful person and very high vibration, like super, super high. Like you stand next to her and you can, and, and like your body starts, you, you can feel it. You can feel like the clearing happening just from standing next to her. And she loved the idea of uh, David's cards. And she promised to write him like a, not, not a forward, but to, to write a little something for him about them. And so when the time came, nope, never happened. Never happened. She just completely, you know, ignored him and whatever else. And, and, you know, it didn't matter that, you know, he included, you know, this is where we met. This is what you told me, blah, 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 you know, and it, and it just never happened. So people, you know, vibration has nothing to do with, um, level of enlightenment, whether or not you're a good person, none of that, none of that. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Just don't, don't use that. That that's such a big spiritual thing. Oh, high vibe, high vibe, high vibe. So what? That's only one piece of the puzzle. You're still a human being. You still got to do the do. Do you have integrity? Maybe, maybe not. Just because you're high vibe. So back to uh, the movement this weekend. Um, it does have the opportunity. It, it's got a, it's got a higher level of probability of helping you excuse me, to feel good, to feel good this weekend. So, and again, whatever, whatever works for you, right? You know, if you're somebody who's in a wheelchair, you can still dance, man. I've seen plenty of people dancing in wheelchairs, right? Turn on music that you like and just, you know, get it going. That's all. Make it fun. Let it be fun. And and let it do what it's going to do. Um, one little side note on that. I hate... One of the reasons that so much of my stuff is not short is because everything in the world is nuanced. It's like... It's like you can't turn around and say... Exercise makes you feel better and believe that it's true for 100% of the people because it's not. And I'm one of those people for whom it used to not make um, feel better. Uh, I used to, when I would exercise for, for years and years and years, even when I was young, I would get tired. Excuse me. I'd get off and or get done with whatever I was doing and instead of you know feeling the blood thro flowing through me and being hyped and ready to go out and like go about my day or or even the other side of that which is you know just kind of being zen and chilled and you know took care of the nervous energy I never experienced that for um, my um, until until I was 57 years old, <laughs> you know, until this year and until this bike. Um, my body does not or did not previously up until recently, my body did not detox hormones properly. And so what would happen is, you know, when you exercise, the adrenaline gets going and all of that. And, um, you know, but, but for some people also the cortisol gets going. And so that was me. 
And so what would happen is the cortisol would go up, you know, you're exercising, you're doing your thing, blah, 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 the adrenaline's going, da, 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 you're supposed to hit that euphoria, get in the flow, and I would get in the flow, um, especially when I was younger, and, but then I would get done, and man, I needed to sleep, I needed to sleep, and, and I wasn't calm, and I wasn't happy, and I didn't get those feel-good endorphins going, none of that. And it was, for me, it, it was due to the hormone situation. So um, my personal healing journey, you know, this whole thing with the weight and, um, and before the weight, it has been um, getting my body systems to work properly. It's needed a lot of healing. So it's literally only been death as you know it with the way I'm yawning right now. <laughs> but I'm actually moving energy. I don't know I don't know who I'm moving it for right now, but, but I can feel that we're moving some energy and shifting it right now. Um But yeah, it was, you know, literally only in the past month, month and a half. I'm not sure when the when the bike came in. Um but that was it. Like, that's when I started to feel better. Like, not while I'm on it, because I still don't like it. Um, I did rather sit on the couch, full, tr full transparency. Um, but, uh, yeah, when I get off the bike now, I'm like, okay. You know, I can, I, I'm ready to move. Like, my body's ready to move. And... I'm not hyper and I am not anxious and um, generally I do feel better so that's pretty awesome so again you know that's that's just another another reason to recognize that for yourself that movement is gonna look different movement is gonna feel different and even if you're that type of a person who like me would get tired do it at night. Do it at night. Because whatever crazy energy we've got for this weekend, and I'm calling it crazy, even though it's really not. So whatever energy we have for this weekend, the way to not feel stuck and the way to feel good is to make sure you're moving your body this weekend in the way that works for you. So, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I'm looking forward to hearing about it next week. I will be back here on Sunday with your um, business energy report for the weekend. Um, what else? energy sessions they're all customized for you and your needs reach out to me let's talk about what's going on let's see if I can help you usually I can um, and if you're open to it and if the pricing works for you let's go ahead and get you cleared and get you moving in the right direction faster and easier than before this is that's it. This is Robin Jana Rosenhaus. I will see you on Sunday. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. <laughs>